So, in the previous video, I had covered what is a variable in programming. Now, moving forward, I had written something like this. This single line meant declaration, definition, and initialization of variable var. First, we will see what are the meaning of these three things. Declaration announces the properties of a variable to the compiler, that is, the name of the variable and data type of the variable. And that is, my variable name is var and it will be holding information of integer type, that is, number 8, without any decimal points. Definition causes storage to be set aside in the memory for the variable. So, declaration, with declaration, I am just com uh, telling the compiler that what is the name of my variable and what type of information it will be holding. No storage in memory has been allocated till now. Only when we define the variable, the memory is set aside in the, the storage is set aside in the memory for variable. Like at 1003, a block will be assigned to store the information for this variable. And initialization means setting initial value of the variable. Okay, like here, I have given initial value for this variable where now we have seen definition meaning of all these three things declaration definition and initialization in this single line all three are happening that is i have given the initial value also i have given its type and name also now there is a concept of storage classes for variable. We have four storage classes for variables in C. Those are automatic, static, register, external. I will be covering storage classes in the next video, but for sake of understanding this video and meaning of all these three, remember that whenever I declare something inside a function or a block the default storage class will be automatic and for automatic in absence of explicit initialization this is known as explicit initialization that is as a user I have explicitly initialized explicitly given the value of variable where I have told the compiler that it will be holding 8, the memory location where will be holding 8. In case if I am not giving this value, so the memory location where will be holding some piece of information but those values will be some, those value will be some garbage value that is some random value assigned by the compiler. Okay, so for automatic storage class, if I have not explicitly initialized the value for a variable, it will be assigned some default value that is some random value, garbage value. This is the concept. So initialization, I am setting initial value. In case I am not initialization, I am not doing initialization. So in that case, some garbage value will be assigned to this variable where now uh, for variables having storage class automatic static and register this single line means definition and declaration that is at the same time I am declaring I am telling the compiler type of variable and its name and also storage is being assigned to that variable in memory. How with variables having external storage class, this single line, extern int i, extern is a keyword to explicitly define that i is having external storage class. So this single line is only telling the compiler that i is of integer type and i is a variable okay 
no storage is being assigned to this variable i in memory only when we define this variable i that is we give initialize it with with some value storage will be assigned for i in memory so now with external storage class i think the difference in definition and declaration is clear to all of you so after this we have another thing we have scope of a variable scope means in our program we will be having different statements different parts of the program like we have brackets inside some bracket we have one part of the program inside a non bracket we have one part of program so scope means part of the program for which the declaration is in effect or alternative you can say part of the program where variable is accessible like i have declared some variable i now in which parts or which parts of the program know that i is a variable and for which parts i simply doesn't exist so scope defines that thing c have three kinds of scope local or block scope file scope and function prototype scope first one is a local or block block scope here this is my main function and inside my main function here the body of the main function is defined curly braces opening curly braces and closing curly braces inside this curly braces the body of the function is present now i have defined some variable value of integer type and initial value is 10 inside these braces i have already told that inside braces the default storage class for a variable is automatic or auto and auto storage class have local or block scope that is this value is accessible here when i will have a print this value it will give me 10 or outside this block this value is unknown so like this is my another function fun i have called this using this syntax and here when i try to print this value i will get error no unknown type name value so this value is known to the statements inside this block only outside this block or this curly braces the variable value is not known this is my local or block block scope and variables with local or block scope have automatic storage class now next one is file scope file scope is basically we define a variable outside any function or braces this are my curly braces so outside this curly braces i am defining some variable so this variable value 1 is accessible or known to all parts of the program like here this is my main function here i am printing value 1 this value 1 is known to this so it will print just 10 here also i have called this fun function so this will be called and this will print value 1 so here 10 will be printed this value 1 is known across all parts of my file source file that ends with dot c now file scope have can either have external storage class or static storage class we will be covering this in next video but for a moment just remember that this value one is accessible or known across all parts of our program third one is a function prototype scope function prototype like variable declaration in variable declaration what we did we told the compiler that we have some variable named var it will be holding some um, value of some type like integer this is my function prototype this is function prototype this is function prototype and this is function definition in function prototype i am telling the compiler that what is the function name and what type of value 
it will receive in its parameter this is parameter inside these round brackets whatever i am defining those are parameters so here it will receive some parameter of type integer so and in this definition function definition i will tell the compiler what the function will do in tech, in prototype i am defining what type of function it is what it will receive what it will return type of value it will receive or type of value it will return okay and in the function definition i am telling how we to achieve, achieve a particular operation so in this function prototype i have defined some variable num that will be of integer type now this num is accessible or known inside these round brackets only outside these round brackets number num variable num is unknown so i can declare another number another variable num of integer type after this statement ends these two are different as scope of this have ended here i can define another variable with same name so this is my function to type code so that's all about scope rules thank you